In Rwanda, we are looking for how people access nutrients and understanding their daily habits. Um, it's really hard to get all of the, the nutrients you need from a, a normal diet in Rwanda, let alone when you're facing extreme poverty um, and subsistence farming. What we found is that the one place that people go every day, at least once a day, is the water pump. Uh, iron deficiency is one of the one of the biggest problems uh, for uh, for uh, rural uh, Rwandans, uh, a lot of a lot of rural Africans in general, and so uh, that with the B vitamins uh, seemed to be the uh, the ones we wanted to attack first. But we even still couldn't start building prototypes until we found a fortificant or a, a solution that would work, and from there we really started launching to all sorts of different devices. Uh, so we came up with a design. We, we basically. Um, went through a lot of iterations of different kinds of prototypes, uh, looking at things like water meters, looking at things like um, like um, valves that suck up uh, like uh, fertilizer for your lawn, and sort of ultimately came through the prototyping process uh, to a solution that we thought would work under a pump. And it was also identifying what kind of pump we wanted to, we wanted to attack, uh, whether it would be a pressurized pump or a hand pump, and ultimately we came to sort of the hand pump solution. You can see that the water wheel turns and it goes into a gear train which then pulls the syringe which sucks up fortificant and then on this stroke you can see it blow out and then on the upstroke it'll suck in more fortificant for the next stroke. And a bit still remains to be seen about what will happen. Um, our goal is to take this device which right now is a working prototype, build it to where it's ready to go in the field and if we have our druthers we'll take it into the field.